it's not happening. My whole 300 Facebook friends. He, he's mid ranting about yeah. how he's uh, I, I need to pay him ten thousand dollar. What was it? Face fee? Call fee? Anyway, yo guys, <laughs> I am Loki. Welcome back, Loki SX. If you want to get technical, um, yeah, welcome back to my house. We've got more cars here now. Wow, English much. Um, yeah, we got more cars here than last time. Every time I show you guys this place, there's more cars just floating around. No, I'm not showing that. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I'm just Hello. You. Yes, We're we, back. we have some guests over today. We have Benke chilling in. A, this was a giveaway car. So if you guys remember JDM giveaways, it got rebranded to, or got safety bought drive. out to Safety Drive. Yep. But Benke is still uh, involved with it. And this is the new winner. Oh, this 180SX. Hello. So I didn't actually get your name, bro. Aiden. Aiden or Hayden? Aiden with an A. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Nice to meet you too. So he's driven all the way up from South Australia in the last two days to come pick this up and hang. And <laughs> go to QR tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Grant. You absolute legend. <laughs> yeah, so we're just, uh, we've just done a rear main seal on this for him. Um, and we're just going over doing some <laughs> yeah, checks okay, sorry. and a service, make sure it's all good for him. So yeah, he can go throw it around and have some fun tomorrow before he goes for the epic drive back down to South Australia. That's yeah, a nice looking and car. And he's got to come to VR. Yeah, he's got the real thing. Ooh, can you hold the steering wheel? Um, yeah, so we're doing that. Uh, I actually have had this on stand for the last week or so because I've sold my front bar, but also because, funny story, remember how I told you guys I wasn't feeling comfortable with the car? I got under the car, checked out what was going on. Turns out I had an oil leak. The um, oil pressure sender in the sandwich plate was finger tight, just wound in finger tight. So that was scary, but caught that in time and have now fixed that. But while it was up and in the air, decided to pull off the front bar. Friend bought the front bar, so it's getting around on another 180 now. You might see him in a couple of videos in the future, because I told him we need to go driving together, because he's just got a 180. And I got a 180, so I'm going to get a 180 cruising. But, um, yeah, what you I need to do now is put another front bar back on. So I have a couple of stock bars. I've got a, an SR Shark Nose bar that I wanted to put on for a while. And I also have my old East Bear uh, lower lip from Ichigo, which is my black 180SX. Little damage, but still fine for what I want to do here. Break. I can't remember if I said it in the last video, but we also have a rally roll cage for the 240Z that I picked up recently. Should be sick. Um, just got to pull it apart, check it out, test fit, then pull it apart again, get it out of the car, and then paint it, and then put it back in the car. So if you're new to the channel, this is Corey's S14. He's currently doing a, uh, well, he, it was already JZ swapped, but he's currently doing uh, technically a motor refresh and a full refresh of the car. So he's done tubs, cleaned up the front end, painted the front end. Um, this has mostly had its swap done now. So we were reshelling that blue 33 over there into this maroon 33. So everything, absolutely every nut, bolt, interior piece, trim, motor, bay, drive line, everything from that has been swapped into this, which took a fair amount. Uh, it's locked, but yeah. Sorry, I left my lad at home. But yes, this was a pre-built 500 horsepower RB25. It was in that blue one, but the blue one had some rear end damage that wasn't found um, until several years after he bought it. Um, and he wasn't happy with it. And I think it wasn't actually aligning perfectly. We went to get a wheel alignment and um, it was crabbing when they got the wheel alignment specs correct. So that kind of gave us a hint. We pulled the rear bar off, checked it out, and yeah, it's um, it's had a big rear end hit. So probably good for a drift car, but definitely not not street car worthy anymore. This is Curran's. He has a similar story. 
We're pulling, well, we've already pulled his motor out, refreshed his bay, painted his bay, and um, tidying up the car for him. Should probably get my head torch. But yeah, it's coming along well. And then this is Ethan's MX-5 that we're turboing for him at the moment. Um, again, also motor out, clean up. We've done a gas kit kit on the motor and turbo, but I think we've got it locked at the moment, yes. So I'll have to show you that one next time. And then in the meantime, which for whatever little spare time that we actually do get, uh, Ben has been working on his JZ Swap S13, sorry, I'm looking way down, um, which has been also coming along pretty well. Been making up his, um, put an RB rad in it because he wants to be able to swap out the rad whenever he wants. Um, it's pretty much using whatever he can find around the workshop to do what he needs to do. Curious about the uh, the weather on the way up. I've been looking through New South Wales and it's just flooded everywhere I drive on the sides of the roads. As you can see, my, my vlog obviously broke off from yesterday as well. My camera is really close to my face. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to check in with you guys and let you know I still exist. Um, <laughs> um, I haven't been sticking strictly to my every two day um, uploads lately, kind of for numerous reasons. So I figured I'd just have a chat about it and stuff. And, I get stuck every now and then between the art of quality and quantity. So a lot of the time you see, especially with YouTubers and like content creators, they'll pump out quantity. And quantity keeps them relevant, uh, keeps them active, creates drama, gets talking points, all that kind of stuff. But I always like to focus on quality. I like to have a story or uh, a point to my vlogs and, and have a reason to do them and have a reason to show you guys like a start, uh, a middle and an end essentially. So that's how I like to structure my vlogs. Because um, it's, it's like reading a book. Like, you don't pick up a book just to read a blurb or a TLDR. You pick up a book to read a journey. So yeah, I, I like doing that with my vlogs. And lately I feel just very demotivated. Not in terms of YouTube. I, I, I love YouTube. I love you guys. I love making content and I really, really do enjoy doing this. And I 100% do not do it for any form of monetary or income. It does help, but honestly, it doesn't even cover the editing programs monthly, if that gives you a bit of a scope or an idea of what it's like. Um, I do this because it's fun and because I want to share the passion of cars and modifying things and just this kind of lifestyle with everybody or people that don't have that chance. Yeah, I've just been really struggling with the quantity over quality thing and I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to try and just pump out these every two day vlogs. I, I, again, not ever tried doing the quantity thing. I don't like doing quantity. I don't like just pumping out stuff for the sake of pumping stuff out. But I do also understand that it is a very important aspect of vlogging and being a content creator is being approachable, being human and being available and, and you know, giving you guys something to follow and to look forward to and to enjoy and, and to come with me on all these adventures and stuff so um, maybe things like even doing what I'm doing right now and just driving around talking to you maybe I should make content like this more often I'm not sure please let me know um, I just I feel like I don't want to waste your time making things that aren't helpful or relevant or fun or entertaining for you as well but at the same time maybe that's part of the aspect of vlogging I share just my life in general and you know the, the struggles and the well not struggles but you know the turn the ups and the, and the downs and the turmoil not just all the good stuff and not just all the the busy action-packed stuff a bit of a step back but why I haven't been as active on YouTube in the last maybe uh, I don't know month or so so three four weeks I've just kind of had a bit of a break and it's been nice but I also again get super anxious about taking breaks because I want to get content out for you guys and I want to show you the progress of what's happening um, so yeah, just some life stuff going on at the moment. Um, we're also waiting on the R32 to get that back from Fab. So we sent that up to Lama Fab with Liam, but Liam is very, very busy, um, and so is Golby's. Uh, so we've just had to be patient and wait until we could get uh, the parts that we were waiting on, um, and that Liam could finalize the very, very difficult job of doing the intake piping that I've tasked him with. Um, but yeah, that should be back in the next week or so, and I can show you all of his work in glorious detail, and we can really smash into getting this car done. Um, I'm kind of getting the anxious bugs. Matsuri is coming up in just under a month now, so we've got, what, four weeks until Matsuri, and I have a car that's 
kind of show level that I'm going for that I've still got so much to do on. I've got to get it tuned. I've got to get the wiring sorted. I've got to get uh, all my brake lines in. I've got to do all the little things, you know, that you want to take time with when you're finalizing a build and you don't want to rush. So and we don't even know like how it's going to go. Like, So it's going to be interesting. I've never actually driven with that motor. Um, that JZ I bought a couple of years ago, seven, eight, maybe six, seven years ago. Ooh. There's this Falcon suspension here. We're doing this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know what the compression's like. I haven't actually tested that yet. Um, so we're waiting on a starter motor. So we've got that now. Um, but yeah, just gonna get the car back. And hope I also bought the T3G twin turbo setup from a guy down in Melbourne. So I also don't know 100% the running condition of those. Like if they smoke at all or if the seals are still good. Like I pulled them all down and I pulled them all apart and I cleaned them up and I had a look at everything. They did look good, but you never know when you're buying secondhand parts. Like something could just, you know, magically go wrong. So I want to kind of have enough buffer time to sort any of that out or to experience any of that and get it sorted before these events coming up. We've got Queensland Matsuri. We've got the Glitter Gang Matsuri down in South Australia as well, which is very soon. And then we've got in November, we have Ebisu Matsuri. <laughs> so we've got all these drift events and I am dying to go drifting and just get more seat time and get more practice. I've still got to get a practice day in as well to be able to drive Queensland uh, Raceway and you know get eligible to go onto the big track after they've resold it and bought it to the new owners and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot to do and a lot I'm stressing about and I'm just very demotivated because I'm holding whatever money, whatever funds I have on the side here to finalize this, this 32 in as little time as I can. So yeah, in terms of um, motivations and stuff, cars are always gonna be a motivating factor. Going to Japan is gonna just amplify that, so it's gonna be amazing. But I've kind of, I've not lost interest, but I'm lacking inspiration over here, to be honest. I love driving and I love cars. I love driving with people and having fun and you know, I've stopped driving. Falcon. I just feel that this is definitely not my crowd and not a culture that I fit in well with at all to be honest like I don't drink I don't have kids I don't care about houses you know, I don't do all the I don't care about football a bit of a waiting game at the moment but I think what I do need to do is just buckle down on making regular content and just getting it out and maybe sacrificing my storytelling and my my structure of my vlogs to just give you vlogs and give you guys snapshots of what's happening and to let you follow along and to get things done I suppose and because and, you guys are a huge factor in, in what motivates me to do what I do as well but yeah so I'm just trying to find a bit of a balance at the moment between being physically not fit but physically healthy being mentally healthy and happy um, and being financially definitely stable and I'm not going to say happy because there's, there's no, <laughs> there is no being financially happy when you're into cars. But being financially uh, equipped to tackle the next stage of life. I've had to contemplate lately um, a bit of a, a hard choice of what I want to do here and how I want to move forward. Um, and, you know, and that kind of thing. So I've been thinking about the Champagne 180 that's here. And everything about that car is screaming at me that I need to put money into it. I need to do the brakes, I need to do the hubs, I need to change the turbo, I need to fix the manifold, I need to get it retuned. Um, it is a beautiful car and it has low case. It's in not bad condition. I do have to aesthetically fix it up as well. I'm gonna put a different kit on it, I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna put different wheels on it. I've gotta upgrade it from four stud to five stud conversion. It's like being back at square one all over again with the cars. And I've just had to kind of think hard about what I want to do with that and how it will affect my other cars and what I'm doing on the side as well with other things. Um, and I'm kind of coming to the realization that I can't save them all, I can't fix them all, and I definitely can't afford <laughs> to do them all all at once simultaneously um, and keep going how I've been going so far. So having eight cars, having nine, 10, 11, you know, 12 cars, there's nothing wrong with that. 
but I'm a, a pretty impatient person when it comes to getting my cars done and driving and enjoying things. So things like four year, five year builds, 10 year builds, I don't enjoy them because I just lose interest and I lose my motivation. So for the past couple of years, I keep digging myself deeper and deeper into doing these big, big builds. Now this is just because I, I OCD, I'm pedantic about things. I, I like things a certain way or I like to do things myself. Um, so I like to know how things are built or you know what mods are installed, etc, etc. So a lot of the time when I get cars, I have to pull them down or I have to modify things or I have to change things or upgrade things or just do a lot to each car for me to be happy with or for me to be comfortable with the state that the car is in. Now all, most of my cars at the moment are all at that, you know, somewhere between 60 to 80% of that progress um, from, you know, 40% of when I got them. So a lot have had a lot of work done to them, like with the mirror, we've got a, we've imported a turbo motor, we've imported the whole Japanese body kit for it, we've imported the Ignis Racing Recaro seat, so I've done so much to just the mirror, and the mirror is a, like a $400 little Econo K car that I should never have put that amount of money into, but I love that car. Um, same with the 240Z, the 240Z was a nice car, but there's a lot on that that I want to change. Recently, I have been looking into how to build an F1 manifold for it and get like a really really cool sound out of it um, because I, I have to repair the the manifold and the snap bolts on the back um, and I have to do a couple of other things to it so yeah there's just so much I have to do but I am one person on pretty much a non-existent salary that I have to prioritize and, and work my way through things more carefully than what I had done in the past when I had a full-time uh, occupation so Coming to that, it's kind of getting the realization that the 180, the Champagne 180, um, has done what I wanted it to do. It filled that gap when the 14 left. It filled that daily gap, the commuter gap, uh, the fun and driving a 180 again. And I do love driving 180s, but that particular 180, it was not something that I wanted. It's not something I sought. Like I didn't jump on marketplace and go, I like the look of that car. I like the build of that car. That was more of a, the car is there. Uh, and this is an opportunity. Do I want to take it or do I want to pass on it? So could I make it work in my favor or do I just stay as is? And me being me, impatient and uh, loving change, I suppose. Um, I jumped on that and I don't regret doing it, but I definitely do not have the money or the time that is required for me to be happy, 100% happy with that car in a state that I would be willing to keep it and enjoy it so I suppose what I'm getting at here is it didn't click it hasn't clicked so I yeah I've got this thing with most of my cars where I like to have a relationship with my car get a connection to my cars and if I don't get that connection they don't last I move them on or uh, sometimes life just forces me to move them on as well but um, a lot of the time yeah you just got to be happy with the car that you're driving and, and be satisfied and I'm not a lot of the time, so I tinker with things, and that's kind of how I essentially started modifying cars, tinkering. So, yeah, I'm, I'm tossing up between moving on the um, Champagne 180 here, potentially selling it or potentially swapping it for something else, but the funds from that right now would really, really, really help in uh, speeding up this R32 progress and speeding up getting Ichigo back on the road, so that black 180 getting that repaired, and also doing the, the Z, buying the materials that I need to fix the 240Z, and even possibly to get the, the mirror tuned and that kind of stuff, so I'm tossing out, do I want to drive a Ford Falcon around for the next four months, or do I want to drive my 180 and be constantly unhappy with it, or do I want to sell it and get something on the road again really, really quick, which is why I asked you guys not too long ago about the 240 and the mirror question. Because I love both those cars. Both those cars have clicked and I am happy to daily the pants out of them. Um, so I think that may be on the cards very soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. What, what would you do in my situation? All right, well, that's been enough of me waffling on. You're probably sick of hearing the uh, Falcon aircon in the background there. So I'm gonna get to this gym. I might walk in and show you guys what the gym looks like, if you wanna see it. Um, and then yeah, we'll get back into cars in the next vlog. I've got so, so, so much to still do. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening and, and following and being part of the journeys and, you know, and supporting me in the channel and the cars 
I want to share a lot more with you guys with the cars. I want to get out there, drive more. I want to come to more meets. But at the moment, I just feel I am not worthy. I'm driving this, and it, it makes me miserable. <laughs> I'm only considering giving this a go, so please let me know if it's a good or a bad idea. Would you guys like daily vlogs? I'm talking just vlogs. Everything and anything I can possibly film that's to do with whatever I'm doing in the day. Would you like that? Please let me know in the comments, um, and I will see what I can do because I think I need to get to the point where I do daily vlogs and I need to let go of, of the uh, the structure that I, I have for myself and switch it up a bit, do some fun stuff but I also don't want to be just giving you guys too much so please let me know. We'll move forward, we'll get bigger and better. If you enjoy this channel please sub, please like. It helps me so so much like I'm not talking financially I'm talking mentally for my mental well-being you guys are my happiness so if this makes you happy know that you're making me happy um, and yeah it's keeping me doing what I'm doing so I'm gonna keep doing that and I will catch you guys on the next vlog I'll catch you actually no I'm gonna show you the gym all right wait out I'll be back We made it to the gym. This is my gym. But they're probably pumping music in there, so yeah, if the audio is dubbed over, that is black. Meow. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna make anyone uncomfortable filming them, so I'll uh, show you guys some later. So if you want to see some more stuff on this, look up Kelly Studio.